And in other news, artificial intelligence is no longer just a futuristic concept. It's here transforming industries, reshaping the job market, and redefining how we work. As AI continues to evolve, the question isn't whether it will impact our lives, but how we can adapt and stay ahead. Joining me today is Dr. Roy Sasson, a leading expert in AI and big data and head of the GMBA program in AI and big data based management at Reichman University. Dr. Sasson, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you for having me. So AI is advancing very fast. Uh, how is this impacting, already impacting the world as we know it? So I'll focus on companies uh, if possible. So I would say that if you're a CEO today, there is close to 100% chances that you're thinking about how AI is going to transform the productivity of your employees, their well-being, how the processes of your company is going to change, and most importantly, how it's going to change the products that you build and how they bring more value to your customers. So just for the sake of example, give me any business that you have in mind. Any business? Any company or business that you wish. How about the news uh, industry? News industry, amazing. So I like to think about these kinds of things in three pillars. There is the data aspects, there is the uh, machine learning or the models that have the ability to make better predictions, and there is the gen AI aspects. On the data aspect, if you're a news vendor, you have access to a lot of data feeds from various places. So you don't always need to rely on what is coming from people. You can tap into social media, you can tap into various sources and so on. How do you digest all of that information? And most importantly, for the sake of news, how do you make sense of what is true and what is fake? On the machine learning aspects, how do you build better predictive analytics to understand what do people wish to read more about and based on that adapt what is the real focus of journalists. By the way, if you ask me, there are three uh, professions that are not likely to uh, be ev uh, evading from the, from the world because of AI. It's a kindergarten teacher, a journalist, and uh, an NBA player. Uh -huh. um, so, and, so good uh, and to know I'm in yeah, the right field. You're in the right place. <laughs> you might be much more productive and have more time to do other things. And finally, on the Gen AI, there is the aspect of generating content and generating better content, richer content, using tools like either Gemini and the ChatGPT. Now, I want to ask you, because I heard about this, and it's really interesting. You've recently uh, created a podcast using entirely AI. So can you tell us a little bit uh, about that? You know, sort of what went into creating something like this, and, and what does this sort of tell us about the future of, of podcasts and of AI? Yeah. So I have to be honest that it came out of laziness in, a, in some sense, but this falls under the bucket of betting, better productivity. So. Essentially, I used a tool called Notebook LM. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a tool uh, uh, completely accessed by uh, and uh, generated by Google, uh, completely uh, free to access for everyone. And essentially, I've tapped into it all the syllabuses of the courses in the Global MBA, all the uh, even the the presentation that I've done to the to the dean of students when I just came out into office to show the vision of what are we supposed to to do in this class and essentially tapped in all the materials, and what came out of it is a 10-minute uh, podcast, uh, which we will have also, I think, available for uh, your audience. And it essentially answers all, well, let's say, 80% of the questions that a, a candidate might have. And that, the, the advantage of it is that essentially it leaves out 20, the 20% 20 of the real hard questions for face-to-face -face contact for me and the students to really discuss and all the simpler questions to be answered by, by that podcast. And it is like a conversation, a natural conversation between a man and a woman uh, without my Israeli accent. <laughs> and now I want to ask because, uh, you know, you have this very unique uh, program, I think, uh, at Reichman University, the GMBA program. Uh, designed to sort of equip professionals with the skills to navigate this new world uh, of AI and big data in business. What can you tell me uh, about this program and how does it really prepare students for this sort of new reality? Yeah. Um, so first of all, you should really listen to the podcast uh, and within 10 minutes you will know 80% of what you really need to know. Uh, but let's put the, the, the real interesting and the... the the last 10% 10, 10 that I didn't mention in, in the podcast. First of all, it's in Israel. So you learn from the best in the industry, people who are really applying in startup nation, uh, AI, data. Of course, you will learn what is the difference between those things uh, in production. So 
most of our lecturers and professors, including me, are working in their day job as part of the industry in either leading technology companies, but even in traditional companies who are applying these, these sorts of tools. The second aspect is the fact that this program is cloud native in the sense that everything that we practice, including the assignments, are using AI. So even for productivity, there's no assignment that you will just write things uh, in the classical manner. Uh, and everything is, uh, is based on, on cloud technologies and that's really embedded in, uh, in the program. Second, as I mentioned, uh, third, uh, as I mentioned, it's uh, some of the professors are French natives in the sense that if you really want to at some point uh, learn what does it mean to uh, get adapted to the Israeli culture, learn uh, how to be part of this ecosystem, some of our professors have really done that. Uh, so I'm very proud of that as well. And uh, finally, we have three projects together with the industry and accompanied by the professors. And essentially, you will be graded by uh, executives from the real Israeli industry. So that's the, the vast majority. And of course, there is a, a trip uh, to New York where we pass to a lot of companies, uh, guided tours with a lot of companies and learn about how Israeli companies are working uh, uh, as part of the, the broader ecosystem. Well, sounds like an absolutely incredible program and it's incredible how Israel remains a world leader sort of on the cutting edge uh, of uh, technology and AI of course being the future Dr. Roy Sasson thank you so much for taking the time to join thank us you. today thank you very much